welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be making some best baked chicken wings that i've had frozen in my freezer for a while now and i've been trying to like figure out what to make with these usually i do like a honey like barbecue sauce um chicken wings but i didn't have time to marinate it and usually you're supposed to have those marinate in the fridge for about eight hours to 24 hours and i didn't get home until two o'clock and i wasn't planning on eating at 10 o'clock so today we're just gonna make some the best baked chicken wings and this is actually gonna be my first time making them so you guys are in for a show to see how good these taste or not so without further ado let's get started but before we get started too oh my god i'm so brand new to um vlogging but before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already for fun videos that I'll be posting here, not on the daily, but whenever I feel like it. And I'll be letting you guys know ahead of time too. So go ahead and subscribe. And now we can go get started. All right, so I'm following this recipe here that I found on Pinterest. Oh my God, sorry for my speaking terms. So I'm making a best baked chicken wings so i have all these chicken wings right here it's probably about eight of them in there one two three four there's probably like ten of them in here so we might have to do a little bit more of what's expected but we shall see but i'm gonna go off of what this is so i have my eight skin on chicken drumsticks i have my olive oil right here i have my sea salt for this i have my black pepper i got garlic powder i have onion powder and i also have paprika it called for smoked or sweet paprika but we are just gonna go with this paprika that i had in my cabinet and it also calls for a tablespoon of dry mustard, but I don't have any dry mustard, but luckily it says it's optional. So we're just gonna go with that. All right, so I have my oven preheating at 400 degrees right now, and I just put aluminum foil on my baking sheet. It says you could either do aluminum foil or parchment paper, but I'm deciding to go with aluminum foil today. So next we are just going to add our garlic powder, our onion powder, so here's our garlic, here's our onion, here's our paprika, here's our salt, which I just finished taking off the top or the wrapping paper on it because it was brand new, and my black pepper here to put it in a bowl. Let me go ahead and grab a one tablespoon here which i think it's what it called for like a lot of tablespoons yeah it did and then like one teaspoon of black pepper so let me grab a teaspoon here here's my teaspoon and i'm gonna go ahead and grab my small bowl back here as well Okay, usually I have my tripod with me to do this, but um, someone took it from me when I was at Heatwave about a couple weeks ago. So now I'm without a tripod and I'm waiting for Sheen, or not Sheen, I'm waiting for myself actually to buy it on Sheen. So I'm just gonna use whatever mounting thing I have. So luckily my counter has like a little brick here that I could just put it there so y'all can see how i do this masterpiece so i have my small bowl and i'm gonna go ahead and add all this mixture thing like the recipe told me to do in this one looks like and i think i need a fork for this too so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a fork so i'm gonna go start with garlic powder so here's my garlic powder my fancy fancy garlic powder there Mm. 
if you guys hear like any TV back there, I'm currently watching the DCC, which is um, Dallas Cowboys cheerleader reality show. Um, I did not even know that the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders like made a show. I believe I started watching it in November when my boyfriend and I first moved in. We didn't have cable at the time, so I was just finding on whatever was on TV and we were in our bedroom and I was like, I don't know what I want to watch. And then I saw cheerleaders on there. And I was like, oh, like press cheerleaders. Let me see what this is all about. And he clicked on it. And since then, I have became addicted to the DCC making the team um, reality series. And I'm kind of sad that they ended. I mean, I want to continue on and see like who else has made the team. Because to be honest, like watching that show gave me inspiration to actually want to try out for an NFL cheerleading team. But... I had to wait for my leg to heal because of a work injury that happened and I sprained my upper thigh. So right now it's in a little bit of pain, but we're icing it every day, we're massaging it, we're stretching it just so it's not just lying on the sofa doing nothing and also getting our workout in too. I was supposed to be working out today, but I will work out tomorrow before work and possibly Friday because I need to get back into working out. I haven't worked out in like a week. Okay, enough chit chat from me. Let's get back to cooking since I'm only done one thing out of the recipe. Okay, right, so now I'm gonna do the onion powder, which is my onion powder right there. I'm pretty sure this is not even open. Watch, it's not even open. I was right. It's not open. <laughs> so you know I don't cook a lot, but we are on a tight budget this week and next week, so we are trying to use all the stuff that we have available for us. So, one tablespoon of garlic onion powder. I swear, when I look at this recipe on the website, onion powder and garlic powder, like, they look like the same thing. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna hear that this door is gonna open soon, too, because my boyfriend's like, Be right back to actually because i need water all right so i have my jug of water with me because my mouth is getting really dehydrated so <sighs> it is my daily goal every day to drink this amount of water just because like you're supposed to be drinking this amount of water every single day it's healthy for your body Butter, butter right over there just so it doesn't spill on my work area my kitchen area so next is paprika i know what pepper does look like because i make um potatoes for breakfast and i use paprika with it to give it a spice i'm it a little bit thicker than all the other yep, look at that chunk you can't see but there is a big chunk of butter right there. So I'm just going to tap it on my counter here. So. Usually I don't eat till like 6, but I started getting hungry today because I didn't really eat that much breakfast. Oh! I dropped it. <laughs> Not me making a mess. Up, oh, and my preheat's done. But I'm oh gonna we're gonna clean this up really quickly. Okay, so I ended up throwing that powder that I dropped in the garbage. Just because I had a lot of stuff in it. But now we have our paprika in here. See? It's in here. Mixed it already when it's not supposed to be mixed. Um so I added it the garlic powder, the onion powder, the paprika, and now it's the salt. Salt salt. One teaspoon of salt, if you're not a can. And again, like the onion powder, it's not open. So we're just gonna open this bad boy up. And I popped this out. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Demo. 
I don't know how this works. I'm just gonna do it on my counter here. Ah. Got it. Okay, instead of putting it on the counter and wasting it, I'm just gonna grab a small bowl and shimmer or something there. Okay, so I added about a couple of shakes in here. So we're gonna see if this fills up our one teaspoon for our salt. Oh, it says one tablespoon, but I'm gonna use one teaspoon because I am not a big fan of salt. Okay, I added my salt in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black pepper. Let's say powder. I mean, it's the same thing. It is like powder. It's just, except it's just called black pepper. And I'm supposed to use half a teaspoon. So I am using half. As I told my boyfriend, you don't look. No buscas. Okay, this is already getting out of hand, guys. Um, so, we're just gonna put all of that back in there and we're gonna pour in that half in there and I'll be back as I clean up this powder here. Okay, so I think I have all of my seasoning in here, so. I'm gonna get some more water too, I'm thirsty. Okay, sorry if I dance, start dancing. But I did, so I'm now using a fork to blend all the spices together. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it here. Actually, didn't know about that song until DCC. Alright, so add all of those and the spices and blend them together. Okay, so I think this is pretty well blended. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna add a hand action. So this looks pretty blended. So now it's asking for three tablespoons of olive oil. There was photos on this recipe too, so I'm about to see if that's how it's supposed to look like. Okay, so this is how the photo looks like. 
that this is how mine looks like. So I think I did a pretty good job at doing this. mix it up a little bit. It's supposed to be a little gooey. I hope it's supposed to be gooey. Um, okay. Yeah. So I already did that. So um, allow the chicken legs to come to room temperature, which they pretty much have already been in room temperature. I brought them out when I started making the sauce. So now Using a pastry brush or let me sit it closer. Using a pastry brush or your hands, which I don't have a pastry brush, I checked and I don't. So we're just gonna use my hands. But I'm gonna wash them first before I actually and then we're gonna coat every coat the entire drumstick. Alright, so I washed my hands for 20 seconds as CDC tell it to. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. I need more water. And we are going to grab our pan here. We're gonna grab our wings. And we're gonna put that over there. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my wings. Chicken wings, not drumsticks, but it's the pet So, oh, I'm so excited for chicken. So, uh -huh. I'm just gonna have to keep like uh, playing around with the sauce here. I thought it would be more. Weird. I'm gonna go off the diet of the photos too here just to see how it looks. Get ready for my phone call. Hey, answer the phone. Good. Yes. No, oh, never mind. Okay. What? I was going to say, if you, what time did you want your car? But I see it here. Oh. Already. Okay. All right. I will call you back. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. doesn't know I'm gonna add this on the video so all right so I think this looks as good as it's gonna get with coating but we will come back to it if we need to so we're gonna go ahead and grab another piece of chicken oh my god I feel like these chickens are like still frozen look at this they're still frozen But you know what? They will defrost in the oven. So. Hey -o. Hey -o. On the sofa. You're on live camera. Hmm? You're on live camera. You're on live camera. <laughs> Saludos, familia Rojas. Aquí estamos en vivo transmitiendo desde Chicago, de hoy. Alright, so allow the chicken so using. Yep, so I did that place. Uh, so leave room between the drumsticks, which I practically did. I'm just gonna move it a little bit. So there's two of those, and then my D 
deflated chickens. And then here are the other ones, which actually look pretty good. And now we are going to go put down So I set my time for 30 minutes and my chicken legs here are in the middle rack. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let them cook here for 30 minutes and then we'll see how they look. All right, so I finished baking at like the 30 minute mark that it told me to. So now it says to use a paintbrush to get all the oil that's on here and put it in black. Because it's burnt. It's burnt? It's <laughs> not burnt. Burnt is usually darker color. That looks like pudding. Okay, so anyways, since I don't have a brush, I'm just going to use tongs. We're going to improvise today, guys. <laughs> You're improvising my chicken today. So I'm just gonna smother all this oil over here. Oops. I guess we could do it like this since this ones aren't used for any of the oils. We are just gonna grab this one over here, put it over there. Thinking, guys, but these ones are actually cooking. I'm actually very proud of this one. So I just shower it with the oil. Okay, so I think I got most of it out, so we're just gonna put it back in there for another five to ten minutes. It's head. Ready for this? Mm. Oh, love my peppers grilled. They're the best. All right, y'all. It's time to try this chicken out. See how it is. Am I going for the first dip? Am I gonna go for the first bite? Actually, use my hands this time, unlike a fork. <laughs> Like a normal person, as you tell me. Ooh, look at that. It's like crispy. It was not that bad. It's pretty good. A little powdery from all like the spices and stuff. It's fire. Is it good? Yep. Let's watch him eat it. He's gonna devour it all, guys. He'll probably go grab more later. Yep. <laughs> so, it's a win win recipe. I would just say recommend probably mix the spices a little bit more. If you guys could, probably use a spoon. A fork might not be the best option to mix it with. But other than that, top notch. And thanks for watching, you guys. Watching me make my first easy, best baked wings. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!